So by the end of this tutorial, this is what you will have made. As you can see, we have our one out of three. We have three questions, and this is the first one. What is the capital of Canada? If you know your geography or you're Canadian, you know this is Ottawa. So you're gonna go ahead and flip the flashcard to see if you're correct by pressing space. It is indeed Ottawa. And then you move on to the next question, pressing the right arrow key. Who is the GOAT? This is a very obvious answer. It is of course Lionel Messi, which is correct. And finally, what is the worst NHL team? Now this is obviously a very hard question to answer, but scientists have discovered that the answer is the Flames and the Knights who are tied. We're gonna be using Python and Pygame. The code and code snippets are all in the description and in the pinned comment. So let's get started. All right, so here in our code, I've actually already started out with some boilerplate because I'm too lazy to type all of this out. But basically this just sets up our dark blue screen. If we go ahead and run this, this is what we get with our caption of quiz app in the top left corner. You can go ahead and copy and paste this from the pastebin link below. All right, so now that we have this, we can go ahead and create our quiz data. And this is gonna come in the form of a Python dictionary. So we're gonna say, demo quiz data is gonna be equal to a dictionary. And the first question is going to say, what is the capital of Canada? And the answer is gonna come in the form of another string and it's gonna be Ottawa. Then who is the goat? And finally, what is the worst NHL team? Now we're gonna create a few variables. The first one is gonna store the index of what question we're on, which is gonna start at zero. And then we're gonna store our current question and our current answer, and then whether or not we flip the card. So current question is gonna be a blank string. Current answer is also gonna be a blank string. We're gonna say card turned equals false. And the current index or rather just the index is gonna be zero. Now here we have our while loop and we have our events. Here we're checking for every single possible event in Pygame. An event in Pygame can be anything from a mouse press to a key press or me pressing the X button to close out the program. The first thing we're checking for here is if we have quit the program and if we've done that, then we quit. The second thing we're gonna be checking for is if we've pressed a key. So if event.type equals pygame.k underscore down, and rather this should be key down, we're gonna check if pygame.key.get pressed. So this function returns a dictionary similar to our quiz dictionary, except the questions, as you can think of it, is basically gonna be each key on the keyboard, and the answer is gonna be either true or false. So for example, if we access the space bar, then it's gonna either return true or false, depending on if we're clicking the space bar or not. So since we know that this returns a dictionary, we can access the key by saying pygame.k underscore space. This is just one of the many keys that you can be checking for. So basically, if we have pressed the space bar, then card turned, which stores whether or not we flip the card, is gonna be equal to not card turned. Essentially, if card turn starts out as true, then it's going to be not true, which is false. If it's false, it's going to be not false, which is true. Next, we're going to say elif pygame.key.get pressed. This time, we're going to be checking for if we've pressed the pygame.k underscore right, so the right arrow key. But here we have a condition. We cannot press the right arrow key and go to the next question if we're already on the last question. So for this, we have to check and index is less than the length of demo quiz data. But actually this is gonna be minus one because the last index in our demo quiz data is actually going to be two since we have three. The reason for this is because the index starts at zero. So it goes zero, one, two. It does not go one, two, three. So minus one, if that is true, then index plus equals one and then the card turned Boolean reverts back to false because we don't want to immediately see the answer. We're gonna go ahead and copy and paste this code for if we've pressed the left arrow key. So we can just change this to left. And for this condition, we actually want to make sure that index is greater than zero. 
Okay, so if we're on the first question, then we can't go to the previous question. We're going to say index minus equals one. And that's going to be all of the keys that we need to check for. Next, we're going to actually put some data into our current question and our current answer. And we're going to do this by saying current question is equal to demo quiz data at the index of index. But this code actually doesn't work. You may think that by accessing the index of the demo quiz data, for example, if our index was zero, this would access the first question in our dictionary. But that's actually false because if we go up, as you can see, we need to actually pass in our key to find the first element in our dictionary. So to find Ottawa, you need to pass in what is the capital of Canada. But the problem is we want to get what is the capital of Canada. And we can do this very easily. We can do this by converting demo quiz data into a list and then accessing the index from there. So this converts it to a list with only the questions. And then we find the index. So for example, if the index was zero, this would get the first question. We can do the exact same thing except for the answer. So current answer is going to be equal to list. But this time we're going to say demo quiz data dot values. And this returns all of the answers. So you have demo quiz data, which has all the questions, and then demo quiz data dot values returns all of the answers. And then we find the current answer that we want. Next, we're going to create our text for both our question and our answer. So we're going to say current question object. And this is going to be equal to a Pygame text object. So we're going to do this by saying font, which is our font dot render. Then we pass in the text that we want. So for example, our text would be current question. We pass in whether or not we want anti-aliasing, which is just making the text smoother. Why not? And then we pass in the text color, which is going to be white. We can do the same thing for the current answer object and replace this with answer and replace this with answer as well. So now we have our two text objects in Pygame. We also have to create rects for these two text objects because I want to put them on the center of the screen and doing that is much easier when you create a rect. By the way, if you're confused on what any of this means, you should check out my tutorial on the fundamentals of Pygame and its basics. So we're going to say current question rect is going to be equal to current question object dot get rect. So we basically want to put this text on the center of the screen. So we're going to say the center of this text is going to be on the center of the screen. And the center of the screen is going to be 800 divided by two, and then 800 divided by two. So 400 by 400 is going to be the center of the screen. Let's go ahead and copy and paste this for the current answer rect. And the center is going to remain the same. And then we're going to actually have our text on the bottom that displays which question we're on. So for this, we're going to say current index object is equal to font dot render, then we pass in our string, which is actually going to be an F string, which basically allows us to pass in data into our string, the data is going to be index plus one, because as you know, indexes start at zero. So the zeroth element should be actually the first element and then backslash. And then we're going to pass in the length of our demo quiz data. So for example, if we were on the second question, index would be one because it starts from zero and it goes to one. So this would be one plus one, which is two. So it'd be two out of three, which is the length of our quiz. We're also going to pass in anti aliasing to be true and the text color to be white. So that's all of our text objects created. Now we can go ahead and put them on the screen. So we're going to say that if we have not turned the card, then we're going to put our question on the screen. So firstly, we're going to fill the screen with our background color. And we're going to put our flashcard on the screen, which is going to be rect. So pygame.draw.rect. We're going to put it on the screen. The color is going to be flashcard color. And the rect that we're going to use is going to come in the form of an X, a Y, a width and a height. The X and Y values are going to be 150 and 250, which I found put a rect at the center of the screen. And the width and height are going to be 500 by 300. We're going to put this on the screen. So screen dot blit current 
question object and we're going to put it on the rect so current question rect but if we have turned the card then we're going to do something completely different but we can go ahead and copy and paste this we're going to fill the screen with the background color again this time we're going to draw a rectangle that is the color of the flipped flashcard so flipped color and the dimensions of the rect are going to remain the same but now we're going to put in current answer object alongside current answer rect and finally we're going to put our text that displays what question we're on at the bottom so we're going to say screen dot blit current index object with current index rect which again we have to create so current index rect equals current index object dot get rect center is actually going to be 400 by 600 because we want it near the bottom as you increase the y value in pi game you move down which might be a little confusing but you get used to it but now we're actually done with the code so if we go ahead and run this we're going to go ahead and get what is the capital of canada one out of three it's going to be ottawa who is the goat messy and what is the worst nhl team it's a tie between the flames and the knights now just to prove to you how easy this is to modify we're going to go ahead and go to our dictionary and we're going to go ahead and add another question so we're going to say three times three plus three and according to bed mass this is going to be 12. keep in mind that all of these have to be strings now let's go ahead and run this again and this time it says one out of four and we can go to the last question which is going to be three times three plus three just 12. as you can see i'm pressing the right arrow key but i cannot go to the next question because we're on the last question but i can move back and i cannot move back anymore so that's going to be the end of the video now you have a quizlet style app for you to study for your alfred e physics tests i hope you enjoyed the video if you did consider liking if you really liked it then consider subscribing for more content like this in the future i'm very close to being monetized so if you want to fund a 15 year old's dream of having enough money to go to tim hortons every day then consider subscribing. Also keep in mind, according to YouTube analytics, 19,000% of you are not subscribed. So please consider subscribing to lower that number. But I hope to see you in the next video, but until then, have a good day.